Let's try to read the FASTA file containing a protein sequence. First, let's have a look at this file. So, if you run this cell, it will display a link. Clicking on this link should open the file uh, in an editor or offer you to save it. Now, if it offers you to save it, um, then you can use your own editor if you're on your own machine. Um, if you're running on the binder uh, or on the Jupyter Hub, it's easier to do it like this. You cancel this operation, you go back to the files tab of the binder, and you locate the file here in the directory, and you click on it directly, and there we go. This is our protein file. So let's close this tab, let's go back to um, the main notebook and the first thing you have to do is open the file which you do with the open statement and uh, this little r here specifies that we want to open the file for reading. You could actually add a t to specify that you want to read a text file but the text file is a default option so this is not really needed. Um, this open operation returns what is called as a file handle and if we try to print it we get a strange message. This is actually an object so um, this is some information about that object. Now the file handle is if you want your interface to the operating system that manages the file and it has all the information on the file so for instance you see the name, the mode in which it has been opened the character encoding in which the file is written and possibly more information such as the position uh, in the file um, a kind of bookmark for where you will be performing the next read on the file. All your interaction with the file happens through the file handle. So the simplest way in which we can read a text file is by using the read lines um, command which is actually a function attached to this uh, um, file handle. Hence the dot syntax, which will, will be making more sense once we will have a look at objects in a later lecture. So read lines returns the entire file as a list of lines. As you see, it is a list. The first line is actually uh, the header and all the other lines are the lines of sequence that we have seen just before. After we have read the file, what remains to do is to call the close method in order to close the file and free the resources. Now this is, I would say, straightforward. It's worth trying to read this file again and let me see if I can clear the outputs here and see what happens if um, we read the file once and then we try to read it again. There's nothing left in the file. so. The three lines returns an empty list. So files behave more or less like the audio tapes of old. Once uh, you have gone through it, you need to rewind it in order to read it again. And when you open a file, it automatically starts from the beginning. So one way of doing that is just to close the file and open it again. If you open it again, you will be able to read all its contents again. Just remember to close it afterwards.